Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you missed the first video on why I chose a Riker, I'll leave the link down in the description box. Today's video is going to focus on upgrades and accessories that I highly recommend for anybody who's purchasing a Riker 900 Sport. Enjoy. Action, action. So now let's talk initial upgrades or accessories that I added to the bike that I would highly recommend. First one is for comfort. You definitely want to take off the stock seat um, and get some type of a memory foam seat. One of the downfalls of the bike is that the back suspension is very stiff. You have the ability to adjust the, the um, suspension along the seat area, but this is always very stiff. So. A comfortable seat really is a must if you're riding any amount of distance. Action! The next accessory that I purchased and also recommend to a beginner is a windshield. Uh, one of the first things I noticed when we started riding on the highways is the amount of wind that it pushed me back in my seat and I seem to be continuously riding like this way. So when we installed this adjustable windshield, it stopped a lot of that wind from pushing on me. And along those same lines, I also purchased handguards. It's great when it starts to get a little bit cooler because then it also helps keep warmth in your hands. My next upgrade was to replace the foot pegs with foot rests. Here's a picture of the original foot pegs, and this is the foot rest I purchased to replace those pegs. The original foot peg caused cramping in the arch of my foot, and it had to go. One of the best accessories that we added to the bike that Bob actually installed for me is an ASE connector. So this allows us to connect the battery to... Thank you! To a battery tender so that the battery is charging throughout the winter or when the, bat the bike itself is not in use. Thanks! That was nice of Bob. So that was my list of accessories and upgrades that I would recommend to a beginner. Right off the bat, if you're going to put money into the bike, put them in those areas. Next, you want to personalize your bike. And what I did to personalize my bike is I actually installed racing stripes with wrap. I did this myself, and I'll make a separate video on how I did that. But I just wanted something kind of basic. As you can see here on the side panels, I chose a flat titanium and this particular wrap that I use, it actually changes colors based upon the angle that you're viewing the stripes. And here again, I did a racing stripe wrap on the back rim and placed a Riker sticker on there, as if you didn't already know what it was, but you know, just a few things that kind of made it mine. Action. Okay, and that wraps up our video for today. I just wanted to share with you my experience uh, with the Riker 9000 and some accessories and upgrades that I would recommend to a beginner. More to come later. Have a great evening.